Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Crystal O and if you are new here, go ahead and subscribe for more videos from me. Make sure you like this video if you enjoy it and let's go ahead and jump into today's video topic. Yeah. All right, so y'all, I get this question a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. And I think I feel like I've heard a lot whereby I feel like a video can definitely be made from this. But first, let me talk about um, kind of what spurred up this video or what kind of made this video to come about. So my husband randomly gets like video suggestions on his YouTube, which is so weird, but he'd be like, this is the most random suggestion, but let's go ahead and watch it. So anyways, he had this video suggestion that said um, what it's like to date a Nigerian man. And I was like, what? Just date? Like, people make videos about this? Like, that's so crazy. And then from there, I was like, ah, oh, that's so crazy because people always ask me what it's like to have married a Yoruba man being an Igbo girl, culturally. Even though we're both Nigerian, I'm Igbo and my husband is Yoruba and I get so many questions about that. And that's basically where this video comes in, right? Just wanting to lay down what it's actually like dating a Yoruba man, a Nigerian Yoruba man, of course. But, so the ins and outs, the stereotypes that I had that may not have been there, the tribalism, just hashing it all in this video and sharing my experience with you all. So of course, my husband is one person, right? So he's not, you know, the face of the whole Yoruba population, but I will speak from my experience and from my marriage and just from like his family and the other Yoruba men that I know through him, um, just kind of what I think about Yoruba men, you know, you know? So, and that is why I titled this video what it's like to be married to a Nigerian hyphenated Yoruba man. Oh my. Okay, so from the beginning, I am extremely Nigerian. Don't let this accent fool you. I went to school in Nigeria for four and a half years. So I have had a while to kind of perfect and reinvent my American accent. But I was born in America and I moved to Nigeria when I was 13. And then I graduated from Nigeria. I graduated from school in Nigeria and then came back to America for college and then grad school. So met my Nigerian husband, um, you know, on the Twitter webs or whatever. Um, there's a video about that on my channel, so make sure you check it out. But I met him and I realized, okay, like he's Yoruba. Like it wasn't a surprise that he was Yoruba because his first name is Olayinka. Mm, mm, mm. Ain't no hiding. There was no hiding, okay? Olayinka, Olushola, Obasanga. Like, there's no hiding. There was no hiding for him. So, obviously, knowing, you know, Yoruba language or being familiar with it and being and actually being fluent in Igbo, I know for a fact that Olayinka is not, is not an Igbo name. It's not an Igbo name. So, I'm like, okay, that's fine. Like, love is love. Like, you know, <laughs> this is fine. So, great guy, love the Lord, and I was like, well, you know, it is what it is. So I would say for the most part that the only, like, real differences and things of what it was like to date a Yoruba man was mostly just, of course, that language barrier. So, of course, when it comes to me being around his family, I'm like, what? What's going on? What are we talking about? Like, I think I pick up on languages really quickly, so I'm able to hear a little bit, speak a little bit, you know, just a little, little, little bit, right? I'm able to just do that. But for the most part, um, his family is very loving. Like, literally, his mom is my mom. Like, I am her daughter. We even look alike. Um, so she really just prides herself on me being her, you know, married into the family daughter. Or shall I say, her Iyawu. Iyawu me. <laughs> If you're watching this, mother in love, Dr. Mommy, hey, because she watches my channel. So, um, definitely loved, love, love my husband's side of the family. I think prior to dating, you know, Yoruba person, the stereotypes that I heard prior to dating a Yoruba person, which is my husband being the first Yoruba guy I dated, was that, you know, Yoruba men are Yoruba demons. They are demons and that is it. Just be running. Just pack your bags and be going. So that's what I heard. 
And I'm like, dang, that's wild. But like, we also got some emo demons too, because like, they play all day, every day as well. Like, is this universal or what? So, that was a little confusing, but I was like, you know what? I'm a believer. He's a believer. Let's just pray and hope that he's not a believer demon, okay? Like, that's contradictory. It probably doesn't exist, but you know what I mean. So, I would also say that the other, um, I guess what I didn't expect or what it was like was that at our wedding, you know, I feel like there are different traditions that his family value very deeply, um, especially like a naming ceremony. So as Ebos, I mean, we'll name you when you're born. We might just give you a pet name, like, or whatever, but we we don't really do like naming ceremonies the way I think you're about to do them. So for me, um, after my husband and I got married, I actually had a naming ceremony on his side of the family. Um, and it was, I mean, it was beautiful. It was so, so beautiful. And I just felt like, man, this is such a rich, rich, rich culture. Even though he's Nigerian, it was like I was able to see more richness in, you know, his Yoruba tribe. And also in mine, right? But I was also able to admire and really just like be in awe of the beauty of the culture within his tribe. Um, I would say another thing that I really didn't expect was the food. So the food is different. Um, for the first time in my life ever, I had eaten um, like okra soup with um, stew, with red stew. And I'm just like, what? Like what is happening? So that was really different for me. I'm not gonna lie. Um, there's still so many things that are different for me that I really can't remember off the top of my head. I can't remember the name of the food items, but all I know is that it's different. Like Ebo's eat up straight okra fufu wadon. Uh, red, red rice, no red rice, red stew and rice wadon. Like chicken, nah? like that's it, you know? But this was different. So I think it took a lot of adjusting for me. Like, oh wow, like you, okay, you put the okra in the, in the, in the stew. Like, okay, you, oh, you eat it with food, okay. So it's just different, like even like amala, like just different things food-wise, culturally, that are more specific to the Yoruba culture or tribe, we're just different, right? It was just all so different. So, I've also noticed that at the wedding, or just in terms of the music culture, um, there's more like natural or just more live band beat. There's a drum that they use. Like, that's what it sounds like. There's a drum that they used to be beating, and you're just like, this is your own music. This is your music. Like, I know it instantaneously because it's like, and then the dancing is a little different too. So, it's just so interesting because as an Igbo girl, I did not grow up around this, right? Because I was, even in, and even in Nigeria, I live in a very Igbo centered majority place. So I didn't see Yoruba culture play out much except for professors who are Yoruba or, you know, classmates that were Yoruba, which was not as much too. So, you know, kind of had, you know, not a lot of experience with Yoruba people or Yoruba men in general, period. So it's crazy, it's, it's crazy. Um, so I think for the most part, a lot of people ask me this question all the time and I try to answer the best way I can, but I feel like I've gotten it so many times. So I think actually adding it to this video would be important. So I get the question all the time. How did your parents react when you wanted to marry a Yoruba man or a Yoruba person, you know, is that one? And I always tell them like, oh my gosh, like our families were fine. That is the truth. But there's but there's there's still more to that story. So I would honestly say that truth be told, my mom was fine. Like she was like, he loves the Lord, he seems like a very humble, you know, young man. Um, he seems like he loves you well. Um, that's my son. Like she took him in very quickly. Um, but my husband's side, of course, Yinka is my mom, Yinka is my mom's, yeah, my mother-in-law's oldest son so it was like a little bit more protective you know tendencies which was fine I get that but um, over time you know they took me and they loved me and honestly on their side of the family there are so many different tribes and um, that have married into their family so I'm not even the first evil girl who is married into their family so I'm like whoop whoop rep is 
presenting like we have one already and it's just wonderful right so um i don't know it's just sweet to know that they're just so welcoming of all tribes in their family like i think they have like Ghanaian and they have Igbo and they have like delta and it's just like it's wonderful so this wasn't a new thing to them i think that in my family I, I really believe, like, based off of my history and knowing some of my history, I am, like, the first, first Igbo girl to marry a Yoruba man. And I'm 100% sure that this would not have been able to happen in Nigeria. I just feel like it just would have been completely frowned down upon. But I will say that my mom did have some people there which and they weren't very happy or they were a little skeptical with my mom allowing me to marry a Yoruba man allowing me to marry a Yoruba man. So, 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 you know, she didn't really care. She didn't really take mine to that. She was like, whatever, it's fine. The, he loves the Lord, he's a great man, he loves my daughter. Like, is it not better for her to marry a Yoruba man than a Igbo man that to beat her and use less her and leave her the next day? Hello? So, she was just like, honestly, <laughs> I support you, I'm behind you. My dad, very open-minded guy, was like, hey, that's cool. I love him like a son too, he's awesome. That's my son, we talk all the time. It was all fine when it came to his tribe and my tribe coming together, but I do know that there were some people who had issues with it. And I don't really understand what the big deal is. I get that we want to keep traces of our culture, which is one reason why I made my last name my middle name. So if you look at my name officially or legally anywhere, it will say Crystal, American name, Adobe, Igbo name, root, me, Igbo, like that's it. And then OG, OG is my middle name. So Crystal, Adobe, OG is my middle name. And then my last name is Obasanya. So that my kids eventually they'll see like, oh, mommy, has an Igbo last name or that's an Igbo last name that mommy has. All my kids this will be able to track their history and their lineage, not just to lose, you know, parts of themselves that they are. So with thinking of them in mind, it's more so giving them a map back to like their roots, you know? So, I mean, my kids will have, you know, Igbo and Yoruba names. My kids will hopefully learn both languages. My kids will hopefully experience both cultures because mom is Igbo to the bed, I'm, I'm, I'm Yoruba by, by law, but I'm Igbo by blood, okay? But So I will make sure my kids know their Igbo culture and my husband and I will make sure they know their Yoruba culture and we will just see to it that they're exposed to both. So for everyone out there that is just kind of like, no, Yorubas belong with Yorubas, Igbos belong with Igbos, and I was just, I was just like, stop it, stop it, okay? It's not that big of a deal and I get it. If it's your preference, fine. Whatever is your life, you will be single. But at the end of the day, I feel like if it's a good guy and you know he loves you well and he fits the things that you want in a spouse for the rest of your life, because that's the rest of your life, sis, go for it. Why not? Who cares what other people say or think or what they're gonna feel or whatever? At the end of the day, it is your life. So make those big choices for yourself and just pray and hope that those that will or won't agree will come along eventually if they ever will, right? So that's basically what I have to say. I think I have a lot of people who feel like marrying in, in their culture is like some honor or some like prize that's won, but it's no prize, so there's no prize, there's no prize. The prize that you need to get is peace, peace in your marriage. So if you're holding off because you've met like someone of your different tribe, or a race, you're like, oh, well, I can't marry them because they're a different tribe. No, like, that shouldn't be the only, like, barrier. It shouldn't even be, like, different tribe and they, like, are low-key disrespectful and are low-key, like, you know, not, not needing to be married right now. So, needs to be more. But, all that to say that what it's like to be married to my wonderful husband is that he is a human being that is Firstly, rooted in the identity of who Christ has called him to be, and then he's a Yoruba man who has Yoruba culture flowing through his blood, who has an amazing family, who has, you know, just the Yoruba futures. I always tell him, you look Yoruba fam, like you you look it. I look Igbo. <laughs> My husband looks Yoruba. So, um, just different things like that. But for the most part, it's fun, y'all. Like his family is so loving. Um, I really don't have anything like 
negative to say, even just the friends that I've met through him that are Yoruba, um, just very respectful, even with the culture, you know, the men will like low key touch, touch their, one of their toes, like, you know, they'll bend down, they'll push their toes, like to greet an elder out of a respect. And if it's like a male elder, I might be wrong, but if it's like a male elder or like, you know, an elderly woman, they'll actually get down and prostrate, like get on the floor and like, you know, spread out and greet them like a whole push up, like in the middle of the daylight in the, in the parking lot. So. <laughs> There's a lot of respect when it comes to the Yoruba culture. I think Igbos were really good at respect too, but we're we're not we're not doing it like that. We'll more so just be like good afternoon, good evening, and we'll like kind of like women will kind of dip a little bit, like a little bit, you know. But the men, I don't think they really do anything. They just be like good afternoon, you know. So <laughs> it's a little different. But all that to say, that's basically what my experience has been. Nothing quasi, but I hope this video has encouraged you or anyone out there who may be curious and wondering like, what is it like to be married to a Nigerian, period, or just a Nigerian that may be from a different tribe as me. So this video can go both ways, however you need it. I'm here at your service. Um, I take tips. Um, I work weekends. <laughs> so just let me know, you know? But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And make sure you're following me on Instagram if you're not following me already. Um, and yeah, uh, subscribe if you aren't. I think I already said that. Comment below with your thoughts. I want to hear what you have to say. So leave a message below and let's chat more there. So without further ado, I will see you guys next time in another video. Peace.